Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 with you another match on Belsic Inferno. This time we're seeing Shaka versus Pickley. Shaka is in the left side of the map. He is currently playing Grekum, and Pickley has decided to go for Vekir, his normal race. And he's yellow on the right side of the map. So at this point, Pickley is still paused in the furthest pass, so we don't know what he's done yet. Shaka, on the other hand, has continued going towards the present. He is just building up. Building for Faros, he's going to be building as an Octos pretty soon. This is very standard Grekum strategy, just build a few Octos and then work from there. While Pickley, Pickley has caught up, so he's also going for a fairly economic build. 5 LC, 1 QP, that's fairly standard as well. He hasn't apparently gone for anything too aggressive. It looks like he might be going out to attack with the Tethvir and Zynvir. And yes, he is. So it looks like the Tethvir and Zynvir are going out... Well, they're going out of the base, at least a scout. They're probably going to go for an attack soon after, though. While well, at the same time, we have... Looks almost like a Grekum rush from... Are both players rushing each other? I think they might be. Actually, no. The Octos for the Grekum player are... So, Shaka's Octos are not doing anything too crazy. But the Faro and the Oct... No, the Faro and the Sephir are just going up forward. They're not going to rush. They're just going to go up forward to try to see if anything's coming up. So, it looks like both players are going for mildly defensive builds. A bit of economy, but... Not a whole lot. It looks like they might be going for a bit more aggressive. I'm just going to go back in the past. They might have done something since I've last looked at what they've done. And it looks like Pickley has been paused trying to do something, but it's hard to tell what exactly he's doing. Ah, here we are. He did move his units back. He's just checking to make sure, I guess, that he wasn't being rushed too quickly. And it looks like his units are coming in. At the same time, the Seppi and Faro are moving up. I'm going to say they're just moving up to get a better position on the map. It doesn't look like they're doing anything too aggressive. Both players just... seems like they're posturing, almost. They aren't doing anything particularly aggressive. And so, at this point, Pickley has a depot foundation. He doesn't have a depot yet, but I imagine he will be getting one soon. He has quite a bit in the way of resources. 115 LC, 60, 60 QP. So he has enough resources to get a depot, he just hasn't gotten it yet here. And he has gotten it... okay. Back in the past where he was focusing, he has gotten it. And... Although he is paused, he's or going slow at the very least. He's no, he's paused. He's pretty much paused. Yeah, so it's really hard to follow what he's doing. I'm afraid because he is paused. So I keep skipping over what he's doing. As for Shalka, Shalka is going for a more forward build. He does have an octopod and an octo built up front. It looks like he's probably going to go for a slight attack with those. Not a huge rush, but a small attack. Probably just to poke around, see what's going on. Well. Pickley is building up his depot. It's almost done. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, though, with it. I'm just going to have to jump back in the past again. I'm sorry if this is confusing to you, but it looks like it looks like he's building another RP, and I'm just going to slow down from the looks of it to actually follow what Pickley is doing, because he's going in slow-mo. I think. Yeah, he's going slow-mo. Okay, now he's finally gone to present speed, to normal speed, so it shouldn't be too bad to follow at this point. And once again, Shaka is continuing to build up. So he's, uh, he is going forward with the Octo. He is at least going forward. He hasn't queued any attack commands at this point, so it doesn't look like he's going to go for a direct assault yet. But I would be imagining he would be going for an assault because there isn't much other reason to be building like that. And it looks like his plan is going forward. He is building. He is sending his units out. There's nothing. His units going to attack here, but he has no units going to attack the base of Pickley. So Pickley's base is currently unmolested. And it looks like he is just... He's not really setting up too much, though, oddly enough. He has not a lot of resources, mind you, but he hasn't built any infantry. He hasn't built any vehicles with the infantry he has. He does have enough resources for a... Oh, no, he does have some vehicles coming up. Okay, he does have a Zion Pulsar coming up, but he doesn't have any infantry coming up, which is kind of odd, given the low resources. It's not a bad idea to build some infantry. And it looks like we have units coming in. So, yeah, we are going for an attack now. So, Shaka has bound his units to his Arcticus, and he's going in for an attack. Stack is coming in. And so we have an Octo and an Octopod coming in. There's not probably not going to do much damage. The two Zion Pulsers there are going to be able to make short work of them. And it looks like the Octo is... Yeah, the Octo is going to barely do any damage before it gets killed. And Octopod, on the other hand, is going to be able to do some damage first, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too much. The Zion Pulsers... The entire... I mean, the Teth is going to die, which is unfortunate for that. But the Zion Pulsers are staying alive, so this stack is going to be thwarted pretty quickly. So that wasn't a really big difference, but he did lose the Teth and that's... Not a small loss, because it means it's going to be a bit hard for him to get anti-air units. At the same time, four Octos are coming in for, for a heavy assault, coming in straight from the other side. So it looks like those are the Octos. No, those are new Octos, but it looks like he is building rather aggressive forces back here in his base. And the Octos have come in. They are going for total offensive assault. They are attacking Zion Beer. The Zion Beer is dead. Two Octos have already died. Another Zion Pulsar is going to be 
killing off these Octo. So another Zion Pulse is going to get damaged a bit more. Probably won't die in the process, though. The Octo is going to die, so that was a almost failed attack entirely. The Zion Pulser did die, but he has another Zion Veer, so really at this point, Shaka is not doing very well. He needs to get some air units out. That's a lot of Zion Pulsers, and that's not a good combination of units to have against air units. So at this point, Pickley is weak versus air, but Shaka is not taking advantage of that weakness. So I'm just going to go back about two minutes in the past from now. Looks like that attack is still going on. Pickley has... Pickley seems to have managed to actually save his Teth Veer and gotten a Shin Veer as well. So he is building more infantry. So he's probably going to get some air units soon if he gets an aerial control center, because Shin Veers all make air units. They can only make air units. You can't make any ground units off them. So the auto attack, once again, has not done much. And it looks like at this point there isn't anything going on for... Yeah, it doesn't look like at this point... Shalka is actually making any air units. He doesn't have a reef up, so he can't get advanced buildings. You need advanced buildings for one of the upgrades to get spires, which allow you to get air units, which is what Shalka needs in order to get through Pickley's base. At this point, Pickley has a fairly strong, actually a very strong ground attack force for this tech level. So he's going to be able to do a lot of damage. It's not going to be that good game for Pickley, sorry, for Shalka, if Shalka doesn't pay attention and start building some air units right now. But it looks like Shaka is going for Seppis and Faro. It's not a terrible strategy, but still, they aren't going to be as strong as the Zion Pulsers. And the Zion Pulsers are able to knock out this Octopod. The Octopod can barely get up the ridge before the Zion Pulsers is going to be able to just make short work of it. So it looks like at this point, the Zion Pulsers actually is probably going to die, but but Pickley has likely gone back and Micro Yeah, Pickley has gone back, actually, and changed his battle around. So the Zion Pulsers are all attacking the Octopod. The Octopod will not last long at all. So the Octopod's dead. Zion Pulsers are alive. Zion Torture is coming in. And at this point, Shalka has a very bad time. He's going to have a very hard time trying to take out the forces of Pickley at this point. He's not got a lot. He has some Sepi, some Faro, some Octos, but he doesn't have any air units. And at this point, Pickley's forces are moving out. And it looks like somewhere in the past as well, Shalka has changed some stuff. And now he's moved his attack slightly back. He actually has gotten a Reef. Okay, how about that? He's gotten a Reef. He might be getting advanced structures soon, but I kind of doubt it. He he's going to get it that quickly because he hasn't gotten it yet. Which is kind of odd. Maybe he's just waiting for his chrono energy to recharge. At this point, though, it looks like he doesn't have... No, he doesn't really seem to be getting advanced buildings. And that's going to be a problem, because he needs to get air units. He needs to be able to get around this. I mean, the Zion Torture is going to be a problem as well. He needs to get some Faropods, some Sepipods, or Faros, just to... Yeah, there we go. Advanced structures. Okay, now he's getting advanced structures. Now we can get a Spire. But it's going to be really tough, though, because this Spire is going to have a hard time getting up in time. There's Zion Pulsers coming in, Zion Torture's coming in, and... While his main base is further north of what his starting base was, his starting base is still vulnerable and it is going to be attacked very heavily, and that's where all his resources are coming from right now, except for a couple of QP boxes. So at this point he's going for a counterattack. There is an attack from, coming in from Pickley, and Shalka is going for a counterattack at the same time, but I don't know how well this is going to work, because the Arctic is going to die, and that is commanding all the forces, and it looks like at this point Shalka might be actually turning back and not doing a counterattack. Or actually, no, he's not doing anything at all. He's going to go back again. Because it looks like he did change something in the past. They are focusing further in the past. Pickley hasn't changed anything yet, but it looks like Shalka is also focusing here. I'm not sure exactly what he's planning on doing. But it looks like he's planning on doing something, and I don't know what. At this point, though, it looks like... No, it looks like still nothing really has changed. Arctic is coming in. There's a Shin Pulse to come... Shin Churcher coming in, I should say, from Pickley. Pickley's base has... Wow. Pickley's actually getting Gate Tech as well. So Pickley's going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. Shalka has been spang... expanding around the map with a couple of RPs in every single expansion, but... He's still not got all that much in the way of solid economy outside of his main base. His Articus is now dead, so he has no command structure. His All his forces are going to be completely... Basically completely have to be manually controlled. He cannot get any hierarchies right now. His Articus is dead. His only Articus is dead. He needs to build another one if he wants to have any command structure at this point. And he's going to want that in order to command the units he's going to get. And it looks like he hasn't actually gone and built a Spire yet either, which is rather odd. He has a Sparrow here, and admittedly he's also needs an Articus, but that Spire is going to be really important to take out all these Zion Pulsers. And... Yeah, so it looks like at this point his main economy is going to be destroyed. He has, like I said, scattered economy throughout the map. And he's got the boxes here and here that he's got taken over, but he doesn't have a whole lot. His main base was where he was getting his economy. His primary base up here is what he's focusing on now, but it's still not going to be enough. He really needs to get a spire. He really needs to get Arians. And there you go. Okay, Faro is now building a spire up here, so that we'll be able to get some Arians, but it's still a little late, and I think it might not be enough at this point. He's trying to escape as much as he can, but it looks like he's, the Shin Churcher is going to look up... Wet, yeah, right here. This is a very common expansion on this map, so it's not surprising that the Shin Churcher is actually looking up here to figure out if there are RPs there, and there are. So this is not going to be a very powerful strategy for Shalka. So Shalka is not doing too well. I'm just going to look back to make sure that he hasn't actually changed anything, got Inspire earlier. He has got Inspire earlier! Okay, so Shalka did actually change something. He got Inspire earlier, 
It doesn't look like he's actually gone off and made the Spire actually do anything yet, although the Spire is technically not done. But he will be able to make some air units quite soon. He should be able to make them right now. Okay, so hopefully he's made some air units, or he's making some air units right now, but he hasn't, and it's rather odd because he really needs to... Time is of the essence here. I know Akron does have time travel as a component, so time isn't quite as important, but it's still pretty important because you need to make sure that you actually get the units you need when you need them, and Shalka is not doing that. So if Shalka would just get some air units right now, that'd be really great because at this point he has a spire, he has all the stuff he needs, and that's really what he needs to just accept a pot or two for the Shin Tercher and some Faro Pods for these guys. That would be enough. But at this point, it looks like there isn't too much he's going for in that direction, and that's really damaging because he needs to get this done as quickly as possible. He needs to get some air units up. He needs to get rid of these attackers. This is only hope, really. I mean, he is getting... He is actually expanding quite well around the map, which is quite impressive, but still, he needs to get what he can get from his actual attack forces. These resources are okay, but he doesn't have a whole lot still, and he doesn't have the air units that he needs to actually get out of this mess. So it looks like he's continuing... No, he's still not making air units, which is rather odd. It looks like he's still just trying to make RPs around the map, which the Shin Turgers is going to go around and start knocking out, or should, anyway. It doesn't look like Pickley's actually gone and thought that far ahead. I guess he didn't figure that Shaka would be building around this map so much, but... Well, that's how it's happened so far. And it looks like... No, it looks like... Okay, a Sepipod, finally. So there's a Sepipod coming up about time, because he's going to need that to get rid of the Shin Turgers, and he's going to need some Faropods to get rid of everything else. And he has a lot of cube plasma, but not a lot of liquid crystal, which is a really odd set if he really should be converting some of that cube plasma, unless he's planning on getting gay tech, or I mean chronoporting the Grecum version. Unless he's planning on getting chronoporting soon, he really needs to get some more LC so he can actually build some units. And he has a sippy pot up. I don't know if he's going to be using it yet. He's got a fire pot up. Okay, so he finally has a fire pot. He's finally getting some air units. It's a little late, but he should still be able to salvage himself from this. It doesn't look like Pickley's actually gone and done much since then. However, Pickley is doing something in the future with this slipgate, I'm sure. He has his armies in the future. He's probably going to be sending his armies into the past to support himself. And at this point, he has, well, still not too much to fight air. The Shin Pulsar is not going to be too bad. The Shin Torture can do some damage, but it's still not going to be that, going to be that great. At the same time, Shalka, about two and a half minutes in the past, is... Actually, yes, he, got, he has the second pod built up, so he is attacking the Shin Churcher. The Shin Churcher is about to die. You can review this. So the Shin Churcher, second pod is coming in. The far pod is being built, and the Shin Churcher is going to be destroyed, as we saw. So at this point, yeah, the second pod is coming in, destroying the Shin Churcher. And I'm just going to fast forward through this because we've kind of seen how it works. So the Shin Churcher really doesn't have much of a chance. At this point, actually, it looks like Shalka's fighting an enemy that isn't really doing too much beyond what he's already done. It looks like Pickley has. Okay, he's got. He has skip teleport for his Zion Pulsers. He is trying to set him up to attack more efficiently, and it doesn't look like he's actually used his Slipgate for Chronoporting at this point, which is kind of odd. However, he doesn't have... Where's the Faropod? There's two Zepi Pods here, so I'm just going to slow down a bit. So Grekum has two Zepi Pods and a Faropod coming in to attack his main base, and the Zion Turchers have escaped, so the Zion Turchers are not going to be heavily damaged too much. And it looks like at this point they are just hiding out on the middle island base which no one has taken, which is not surprising. A very risky base. Very, very high in resources, but very risky. And looks like the Zion Churches have actually found the main base. They're looking around. They're just porting around. They found where Shaka is mainly located, though. And it doesn't look like they're going to be attacking it too quickly, but Sepipot is coming in. going to take out one of the Zion Pulsers. So one of the Zion Pulsers is down to a Zion Veer, and it looks like Pickley's forces aren't doing too much still. At this point, Shaka is trying to defend what he has, but he hasn't really been going for any sort of attack, and Pickley hasn't really gone for any major assault either himself. It looks like he's building up a second expansion, actually fair bit in the game, and he is getting, he still has these forces that have been here for a long time, he hasn't really touched them. And there's a Faropod coming in, so the Faropod has destroyed the Zion Veer, Faropod is tagging all these RPs, so the RPs aren't going to be doing too much, this expansion is almost completely useless, it's 300, 300 liquid crystal, pretty much wasted at this point, on these resource processors, and that is quite a shame, because at this point, Pickley really needs to have the resources he can get. He does have a fair amount of resources stockpiled, but he hasn't been building a lot of units, and when he starts building a lot of units, that's going to be a problem. And it looks like... Okay, so he is being defended a bit, so the Farpot is going to be destroyed fairly soon. And the Sepipod is coming into support, but it doesn't look like there's still a lot going on. I mean, at this point, Pickley really is acting kind of odd. He has a Sepipod. He is fighting another Sepipod. The Sepipod is coming in, destroying his Shin forces, and or was destroying a Shin Force, is now dead. Another Cypher Pod coming in, tagging the RPs. So the RPs are still taking a lot of damage. That's still a lot of resources wasted on Pickley's side. They have not paid for themselves yet. He is, however, getting Teth Turchers. Teth Turchers are very good anti-air units, so that's not a bad strategy. But 
It's very odd he hasn't really used the time travel he has. He has a chronoporter now. He doesn't have a lot of Q plasma though, that's probably what it is. And at the same time, Shaka hasn't really gone for any attacks with his forces that he has, and he has a lot of resources as well. I'm thinking Chrono Energy may be the bottleneck. He himself has also gotten Chrono Porting, so it looks like Shaka might be going for Chrono Porting. And a Dome Laser! Looks like... Oh, shoot, what did it attack? I'm gonna track that one again. It was a Dome attack. Dome right here, it fires off really powerful artillery blast, but I don't know exactly where it shot. Okay, it looks like it hit... Oh, what did it hit? This I can go back, so... Dome Blast looks like it hit a... Did it hit this guy? This is really kind of annoying. I kind of wish I could see what the target was for this attack. Because the dome... Because it's a rather exciting attack. We can see basic... Well, the one hit kill. It's rather powerful. Rather powerful Grekham attack. But it looks like... When did he fire it? Okay, he blew up this RP. Okay, so he blew up one of the resource processors. Another Sepipod's dead, though. The Tet Torchers are doing a lot of damage. And they are defending quite well, so Pickley has managed to carve out a fair amount of the map for himself, but Shaka has taken up most of it. So Shaka has great map control. He doesn't have a lot of... Actually, you know what? He might have actually gone back in time, from the looks of it. Yes, he did! He got some semi back in time to support his old forces. So he's actually going to be doing quite a lot of damage here. And this is... Wow, this is really amazing. So he's gotten semi in the past. He has, in his, in what he's looking at right now, he has... Well, further past, I should say. I always get that confused. So in the more recent past, he has some... He has his units set up. He has, in the further past, some Sepipods attacking here, so that's going to do a lot of damage. I'm just not going to watch it too much because I don't want to propagate it too far forward. But, looks like at this point it doesn't really matter. The time we've has caught and caught it up. So, here we have Sepipods coming in, dealing a lot of damage. So these RPs are getting attacked very hard. Sepipods are going to be able to take sh make short work of these air units here. The Zion Turkers not doing a lot of damage either. So, at this point, this teleport, this old teleport from Pickley has completely failed. So Shalaka has done a lot of damage. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like at this point, Shaka is going to be able to just completely steamroll if he manages to take advantage of this. I don't know how he queued his orders, though, if he's going to be able to attack the base with these units that have been ported back in time. But he is going to be able to deal with this expansion, and at this point, Pickley does not have a lot of resources left. His boxes are almost completely exhausted. That Really, he's got hardly anything left, so at this point, Pickley is just a matter of attrition. He has to be able to go back in time and just fix this. And it looks like he's trying to... So back where he's focusing, he's trying to... He is trying to take care of what Chalka has, but Chalka has two, two entrenched position, and so what what he can get is not that major, and what he can't get is what Chalka is using to drive himself. So at this point, Chalka is going to be able to deal a lot of damage and just completely wipe out what Pickley has if he goes for it. And it looks like Chalka has pushed back into the past again, from the looks of it. Yes, he has... No, he's just... He is just looking back in the past to see what's going on, but at this point he hasn't actually pushed back too hard. He has a firefight coming in though, attacking the RPs, but the RPs here aren't doing too much, so at this point, resource processors have been teleported down here again, So at the, and down here, so it looks like there isn't much going on, but Pickley is fighting a battle of attrition here, and he's on the losing side, so Shaka really just has to hold himself, hold out as long as he can, just fighting out what he can, and at this point it's just going to be really... Pickley has to really push back. Shalka is in a very advantageous position. He's going to be able... Yeah, even whatever forces that Pickley can send in, Shalka's just taking care of them very quickly. This is a rather big turnaround. So at, when you consider at first that Shalka looked like he was not going to be able to do too much, he hadn't built up very much, he was going for a really weird build, but yeah, just building this base in the middle of the map, very good strategy. It actually worked out really well, even though he got late air units, got attacked in his main base very hard. It doesn't look like he has another Arcticus, though, which is probably... A, there might be a problem, because he can't really order his units around as a hierarchy. So it takes a lot of chrono energy to move forces around, so he can't control that large of forces. So Pickley's only real hope is to be able to last long enough to get a large enough army that he can actually command it better than Shalka can. But at this point, I think Shalka really is just a matter of him attacking Pickley. As soon as he attacks Pickley, he'll be in. He'll be good. He'll be solid. He'll have won the game. But he isn't going for it, oddly enough. Pickley really is just trying to hold off, trying to make sure he doesn't have to spend any more resources to not die. But it looks like back where he's focusing, he has, he has actually built up more or actually he's teleported his resource processors down, and it looks like he's teleported them up as well a bit, so he is trying to expand around the map as best he can, but it's going to be really tough. Shaka has really good map control at this point. He's got the center of the map quite well taken. He doesn't have as many resource processors as I thought he did, though, but he does have a faro pod just holding up, going to be taking care of all these RPs when they teleport near it, so there really isn't too much that Pickley can do, whereas Shaka, back in his time, he is... Actually, not doing much either. I'm, so, I'm really surprised. He, I really expect that he would be attacking. I met, he might have gone back in time. I'm going to hold that up. He probably went back in time to attack because he probably isn't going to be... Yeah, he, I can't see any of his units that he was using. There's there's a Firepod and a Sepipod, but he isn't... 
he doesn't have a lot of units that he did have, so I imagine he jumped them back in time. And at this point, it's just a matter of him being able to deal damage with those units. I don't know where they would have jumped back in time to, though. Unfortunately, I can't see where his chronoports are on this timeline. So at this point, he... Shalka is actually not doing too much. He's adding a bit defensively, and it looks like... Let me double check, because something changed, it looks like. The Farpod here did attack. There was an attack back here. Must have been. This is where the dome attacked the... Oh, no! Except there was another attack entirely. Holy crap, there's much stuff been going on in the distant past that I totally missed. I apologize for that. Okay, so it looks like a couple of Farpods came back in time. Started doing some attacking. Started attacking the main base. Destroyed the Bastion. Or at least dealt a lot of damage to it. It looks like there's a lot of... Yeah, there is... The Tetrature is dealing a lot of damage. The Bastion is dead. But so are the so are the Farpods. Now, Pixie's forces are coming in, dealing a lot of damage, but they aren't doing enough. This is the battle we saw before. A couple more Farpods coming in, dealing a lot of or not doing much damage right now, but they are going to be dealing a lot of damage, I'm sure. So Farpods coming in, Superpods coming in. I don't it doesn't look like they've been chronoported at all. And at this point, we're just seeing how they're setting up, attacking the RP. So Pickley is attacking Jalka's RPs again. So at this point, Pickley's base has been attacked a bit harder, and it looks like he hasn't saved those RPs that he did have saved that were moving to the north that we were seeing earlier, that were actually later in time. And it doesn't look like Pickley has actually done much either, so... I'm oh, sorry, Pickley. Shalka has actually done much either. He might be going for legal class units, but it's really hard to tell. He hasn't actually started building any of these units yet, and Sepipod is going back up, so it's going to be able to attack again, and it's hard to tell what Shalka is planning on doing. Remember, this is much, much further past, because something did change, and it looked like it was just that Farpod attack. I can't really see anything else changing. It doesn't look like he's building legal class units or anything. He doesn't even, I don't even know if he has low legal class as an upgrade. So at this point, okay, Pickley is moving his RPs north, and he probably did build some more RPs to, to the west, so these RPs moving to the north will end up encountering this Farapod, and that will be a problem for them, and they won't last long. Yeah, here we are, now the six RPs. Okay, this is what we saw before, but it doesn't look like he actually has... Does he have a Zion Beer? He has a Shin Beer. He doesn't have a Zion Beer built yet, though. Except up here. Now it's Tethyr. So yeah, he doesn't have a Zion Beer built, and now the resource processors are coming, and the power pod is going to make short work of them. So these resource processors aren't doing much, so this is what we've seen before. And it looks like from here, Pickley is just going to try to do what he can with what resources he has. But Shalka is really pulling ahead, and yeah, Shalka, 700, 713 LC, 52Q Plasma, and this is really far back in the past, so in the future he's probably got even more resources. He is now getting far loot, he is getting legal class units, he's got a far legal coming up, very powerful strategic bomber. And he's probably going to be getting some more legal class units in the future. He has another Sepipod coming to help support. So at this point... Okay, so the Farpod did die. I missed that. The Farpod did die, and the Sepipod went to support it, but it ran away. So there isn't any support on there, so Pickley can get his RPs up to the north without much interference. One of them was damaged heavily, but it's not going to be enough. It didn't kill it, so that's not going to make any difference. And this one, another Arcticus has been built. So... Now, Shalakus has a way to command all of his forces, and he's going to send them forward to attack. So it looks like they're all going to attack... What are they attacking? They're just going forward, actually. Just going forward to defend. But they should be attacking fairly soon. Another Octoblego coming up, so... Wow, Shalakus got a really powerful army. Really, at this point, it's just a matter of him steamrolling Pickley. It's just a matter of him actually choosing to attack Pickley. And I'm surprised he hasn't done it yet, because it's been a bit of a while. Okay, there we go. An Octoblego is attacking... Is attacking the main base? It is attacking the main base. So an Octoblego is going straight for the main base. And it looks like the rest of the units are just holding back, waiting for something else. But the Ultra Lego is going straight to the main base. The Far Lego hasn't done anything yet. And it looks like nothing really has changed at this point. So the Ultra Lego will go in for the attack. And it's going to be coming in really soon. It's almost there. It's almost there. And here we go. So at this point, also, just to point out, Shalaka's our Pickley's RPs have reached the North Destination. And the Ultra Lego is attacking. So the Ultra Lego is being attacked by the Foundations. Dealing a lot of damage to the slip. What the heck? Oh, okay. So apparently the Octoligo actually decided to retreat. So the Octoligo was just a scouting party. So it looks like the Octoligo ultimately was actually just a scout. And oh no, never mind. Slipgates, slipper pal. The slipgate teleported the Octoligo away. That's what happened. I forgot about that ability. So yes, the slipgate teleported the Octoligo away, and so now the Octoligo can attack. But a bunch of other units are attacking. Now he does need a Farapot or some other cloaked unit to come in and actually destroy that Slipgate, because that Slipgate's going to be able to repel any unit that comes into range of it. And the only units that can get past it are cloaked units or artillery. But he doesn't have any... I mean, the Austral Eagle is pretty much the only artillery that Grekham has, so at this point his best bet is a cloaked Farapod. 
And it looks like he is sending in a Seppi, which isn't going to do too much because it's going to get jumped away as well. So at this point, he's just going for the West expansion, natural expansion of Pickley. And he's going to be attacking as best he can, but this slip, this slip gate is going to be able to deal a lot of damage. And we're going to stop his forces from coming in, I should say. It's going to prevent the dealing of a lot of damage. And at this point, if Arlugu has come in, it isn't doing any damage yet, though. It looks like it's been teleported too far away. The Slipgate is continuing to repel away all the forces coming into attack, and this Firepot, surprisingly enough, has not been sent back. I'm just going to double check that Shalka has not... Nope, back in the time he's focusing on, he still hasn't sent back that that unit. So at this point, Shalka is not going to be able to do any damage to that base until this Slipgate gets destroyed, which is really weird because that Slipgate has... I mean, it's a really high priority target. I'm surprised he hasn't gone in with the Firepot cloaked and taken care of it yet, but it looks like he might actually be doing that now. Has he done that now? He is sending a Firepot in. He hasn't cloaked it yet, though, which is... Kind of body. He should be cloaking it very soon, and it looks like because he didn't cloak it, it's going to get repelled almost... It should get repelled almost right away, I would imagine, but... No, he has cloaked it. Okay, so the Firepot is cloaked. Now, the Firepot can deal a lot of damage. It's going to be able to basically have free reign on this base, so this base is going to be completely destroyed by this Firepot. If this loop gets destroyed, then Pickley has lost. But this Bastion is almost completely done, and it looks like Pickley does have some back resources in the north, but not enough. Shaka really has the advantageous position. Shalka's Firepot actually still isn't dealing a lot of damage to Slipgate. It looks like most of the units are just coming in trying to attack the foundations that are built around. Probably going to try to make sure that nothing gets healed by the foundations. But it looks like the Firepot still hasn't done the killing blow on the... Or any attacks, really, on the Slipgate. The Slipgate is still defending the base. It looks like there isn't damage being dealt. There is damage being dealt to the buildings, but the Slipgate is not going to be able to... To completely hold out... It looks like it's not doesn't have high enough range to get rid of this Seppi, so Or these Seppis here. So it looks like there is a lot of teleportation going on. A lot of the correct units being knocked back, but it's not enough. The depot is still getting damaged. It's going to take a while to get destroyed, though, so it doesn't look like that's going to be changed too quickly. But the Octolio hasn't been pushed forward again still. And the Firepot, where is the Firepot gone? It looks like the Firepot has not really done much. The Octolio is coming up, though. The Octolio is coming up, and it's going to be able to do some damage, but it is going to be teleported away once again. So everything gets teleported away because that Slipgate has not been destroyed yet. So Shalko really needs to destroy that Slipgate. That's pretty much his entire game at this point hinges on that Slipgate. And Pickley pretty much just needs to hold out until he can get some resor enough resources to hold out. But the Slipgate is doing a fair amount, but it still, there are a lot of buildings that are vulnerable. The Slipgate is helping, but it's not going to be doing everything. At this point, Pickley is trying to do what he can with what units he can build, but really it's just a matter of Shalka being able to kill what he can. And at this point, all he really needs to kill is this depot. If he kills this depot, he'll have officially won the game by the game's own conditions. As Okay, once he builds, he needs to get rid of the Zion Pulsar as well. But, what, and this Shinju. But, once he gets rid of that, then he'll have one, and Pickley really is in a really bad position. It looks like he's going to the future. Is he trying to get some units from the future? No, he's not. He actually hasn't gotten anything from the future. He doesn't have enough resources to do so. Which is rather unfortunate, because if he could get stuff from the future, that could possibly save him. And at this point, back to where we were. It looks like, yeah, it looks like at this point, Pickley has been completely destroyed. This is back where we were looking at before. Pickley has pretty much been completely destroyed, and his base is getting worn down very rapidly. It looks like the Slipgate isn't doing enough to defend. Oh my gosh, the aerial control center is dead. The Slipgate is probably going to soon die. It's hard to tell, because I'm not sure exactly how rapidly it can repel units away. But it looks like it's repelling its way pretty rapidly. So at this point, Pickley is trying to do what he can. He's looking around to see if there's any options to get out of this. But it looks like it's pretty much going to be a good game. It's just a matter of time. And actually, it, whoa, one of the Octopus has been thrown apart back as well. So it looks like Shalka has gone and tried to get a support force on top of what he already had. Just to make that defeat much, just that much more intense. But it looks like at this point, Shalka has won the game. Shalka really can't do too much more to help himself out. Apart from getting a cloaked Firepod here to actually get rid of the Slipgate. But otherwise, really, Shalka has the upper hand here. It's just a matter of... Wait a sec. Did he... Did his units get completely repelled? I think, you know, he might, have, he might have gone completely repelled in a second attempt. I'm not sure exactly how that happened. From what I could tell, all his units had completely destroyed his base, but it looks like if we go past the blue time wave, yes, the blue time wave has what we have. And then before, it looks like... Oh, okay, it looks like Pickley managed to pull himself off. Maybe he just used a slipgate better. And he's actually rebuilding his annex, so Pickley... Okay, but Pickley's main resource center, though, has been found. It is being destroyed very quickly, so Pickley does not have any resources coming in. He's not going to be able to do too much at this point without any resources, so it really is just a matter of GG. There we go. Okay, good game. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.